Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, welcome if you are new. As promised I said I would do a Accutane video for my one to two weeks experience and then probably a bit longer after that. Today is day number two, um, before we begin I will pop on the screen quickly what my skin looked like yesterday on day one. Obviously today I have got makeup on but obviously you can see kind of see my acne underneath my makeup as it has rubbed off a little bit um but yeah i just put it on to make myself feel a bit better today um but yeah yesterday i only took 10 milligrams of accutane so i only took one tablet and today i'm going to take 20 milligrams uh, or two tablets and um the dose that i'm going to be on is 30 milligrams however i just wanted to wean myself up to it for the first three days just in case i had any like severe reactions or anything at least i hadn't taken like a higher dose and it would be like easier for my body to digest and things like that um so yeah today is day two here are the tablets again and um obviously i haven't felt any side effects from taking uh the accutane yesterday i don't know i don't want to like break it because they're soft capsules um yeah i haven't felt any side effects from yesterday's tablet as of yet um but i mean it's only been 24 hours i have got a bit of a headache today however i don't think that's to do with uh accutane i think it's like time of the month to do with like my implant and I haven't left the house all weekend um, and it's now like Monday night as well so I do think I need to go outside and get some fresh air at some point as well just because I was lazy all weekend um, but yeah so for these tablets as well you do have to take them um, with a high calorie high fat meal um, as it absorbs apparently the tablets absorb better into your body that way as well as opposed to taking it on an empty stomach you may not get as uh, good benefits because your body hasn't absorbed as much of the dosage <clears throat> so yeah these are the little tablets thankfully they are really small um oh my god it's gone up my sleeve <laughs> there we go i've got it well it rolled up my sleeve um <laughs> up there but yeah, and thankfully they are very small because I'm not very good at taking tablets and they're softer gel tablets as well. So very easy to swallow. I was scared they were going to be like them ginormous, like dry ugh, tablets, which I would have been retching on taking three. So I'm going to drink it with milk tonight. I did look it up and you can drink milk while on Accutane. Um, I only looked up some antibiotics you can't have milk with, but these are completely different. So, and milk's high fat. So it did say it recommended drinking it with milk. So that's what I'm going to do. So one, two. But yeah, that is uh, night two. I've got some Carmex ready for the dry lips, which I have started putting on already as um, I kind of want to prevent rather than have it have dry lips and they crack and then I get it. So I've been preventing with that. And I did also get this number seven Hydrolumus Overnight Recovery Cream. Um, which is for extremely dry skin just to pop on at night as well again I'd rather have something that's really really moisturizing to um, prevent anything from cracking as well and I treated myself to an eye cream those are by number seven and I do really like that brand as well although as you know all of my other stuff is Dermalogica uh, my mum got me this Dermalogica intensive moisture moisture cleanser um which i probably won't use until my skin does start to get dry just so i can see the difference that it's making but yeah i normally use special cleansing gel but i guess this is just a moisturizing version oh my god yeah oh it smells oh, that smells lush i actually want to use that now but i think i will wait a few days although my skin is a little bit oh no it's not really dry it's just oily and all of my makeup separates so that is another thing that i'm looking forward to this is not having really oily skin anymore i don't know if it picks up on camera but like all my makeup separated around my nose and i work from home now so i can't even blame it on wearing a mask <laughs> and it's all separated on my forehead as well actually up here but yeah that's something i'm really looking forward to about uh this process but the only thing I haven't bought yet is some eye drops 
and I know my eyes are gonna get dry so that was a bad move but maybe I'll go and get some this weekend but we're now on seven minutes and this is meant to be a two-week video so I am gonna try and edit this down and I will see you tomorrow for day three hey everybody so it's day three now and I am about to take my isotretinoin um, I was going to up my dosage to 30 milligrams today however I may just stick on 20 at the moment just because I felt a little bit sick this morning so I want to give my body that little bit extra time to adjust um, but yeah I haven't really seen any side effects as of yet this is what my skin is currently looking like. I mean, it was a little bit sore and I itched up there, but I feel like that's just my skin anyway. But yeah, I'm just gonna stick to 20 milligrams today, see how I get on. Um, and then maybe we'll go up to 30 tomorrow or the day after, I'm not sure yet. So yeah, I've got my two tablets. See you tomorrow. Hello, it's me. I'm back and it's day four. This is my skin. Don't know how well you can see this on camera, but I've had a few little whiteheads appear along my cheeks, um, which they're a little bit sore. Um, but yeah, today I'm going to start taking three tablets so my actual dose which is 30 milligrams and I have noticed that my eyes feel a little bit I don't know if they feel tired but just a little bit itchy today which means that they are dry I have had itchy eyes anyway sometimes I get it in the summer um so <laughs> Matt kindly went and got me some eye drops today um which is just the Optrex intensive eye drops so yeah got that which is good so i'll let you know how i get on but here we go but yeah apart from that i haven't really had any other side effects um as soon as i do i will let you know though apart from actually one thing is i feel like my skin feels greasy but i don't know if that's just because i'm like waiting for something to happen or not because it's greasy anyway but yeah you know what i mean <laughs> so i just thought i'd update you quickly i've just well i'm not just waking up but um, I've just had a shower and got dressed. It's the morning of day five and I can feel my skin tightening. Um, I have got some dry patches. Don't know if they'll pick up on the camera. See it on my nose here. And then some of I like, I know it gets dry around spots anyway. Look at that, that's rank. Um, starting to get a bit dry around here and up here, but I do feel like like round here my skin feels really smooth and also up here it's starting to smooth out as well already I don't know if that is anything but yeah it's definitely starting to dry out as you can see on my nose but just thought I'd update you before I put my moisturiser on Hey guys, so I believe it's day six now. I'm now, yeah, day six. Yes, because tomorrow's day seven, I don't know. And I thought I'd give you an update. So this is what my skin's looking like. I have had a few spots come up. Got a few under the skin spots, you know, coming up around here. And this is quite painful. Um, so yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say it's clear as of yet, but I do think that the spots that have come up are a lot smaller and less painful already. I don't know if that's because um, my skin's starting to dry out. So the, the spots, as gross as it sounds, are not as like moisture liquidy. So it's like not as big. Does that make sense? Because there's not as much moisture in them. And I've had a few come up on my forehead as well. I just feel like I'm generally looking redder overall. I don't know if that's just me imagining or not. Um, I woke up with really really sore eyes today so I had to put eye drops in them this morning which seemed to have lasted the whole day at the moment so fingers crossed that's uh, as bad as they get although I think 
they will get worse because <laughs> um, it's still early doors. And one thing that I noticed <clears throat> is that my skin's starting to feel tight. Although I am moisturising, but I can definitely feel, you know, if you do this, it does feel tighter than normal. And especially on my forehead as well. Um, last night I have this weird thing where I struggle to breathe sometimes at night anyway because the air is too dry so I have to put Vicks on my nose to try and like give it more moisture or something but last night that just was not cutting it, I was, the air was just too dry so I'm looking into maybe getting a diffuser I don't know it's something that I'll use after Accutane anyway because I struggle to sleep with the dry thing quite often anyway so yeah but I just thought I'd give you an update. I'm now going to take another three tablets, which is 30 milligrams. And we're almost at the end of the week one mark. And I have got some dandruff around here. Although that is something that I do suffer with anyway. I will see you tomorrow for day seven's check-in. Hopefully I'll be wearing something different then. Because I'm so lazy at the moment. And... I'm a slob and I just love to wear comfy clothes and I will put the same on just the this outfit's just so blooming comfortable but it is going in the wash now I promise anyway I'm rambling on I'll see you tomorrow's update actually before I forget to go is that I have noticed my knees are a bit painful already as well um, and I know um, joints can be a bad side effect I don't know if these are all in my head because I've read about them and I'm preempting them but I have noticed my knees as I'm walking up the stairs they're a little bit sore everything guys it's still the same day um but i've just had my bath and um obviously just washed my face even though i had no makeup on um i just like to cleanse it you know morning and night just so it stays clean and washes off all the days and dirt um but i just realized another side effect so in the morning i'm still using my dermalogica active moist cream um but at night i've got this number seven um Hydroluminous Overnight Recovery Cream for drier skin and it's been fine um, I've been using it for a week now and it's been fine but tonight when I put it on my skin was stinging so I think that's just a sign that it's dry you know like when your hands are dry and you put hand cream on and it stings kind of like that on my face not as bad as like obviously really bad cracked hands as my face hasn't cracked yet but that's how I'm feeling so yeah so it is the morning of day seven I've just got out of the shower um but yeah I thought I would update you obviously you can see like I mentioned yesterday my skin is kind of like a bit pinky ready all over um and I've had a lot more spots come up again this morning so I don't know if my skin is in that like purging phase at the moment obviously we've got the spot from yesterday up here but i've got a few like under the skin ones come up one here another one here yesterday we only had these ones i've got this one now and the one above it these ones here and one these ones are okay they're a bit sore and then one come up here i've got one under the skin you can kind of see a bit red there where it is that one this one and these couple down here are sore um and then yeah and then i've also had one come up on my neck here which is really painful yeah. 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 Yeah.